All right, so this was phase one. This is what we started with originally. And then came to the conclusion that it wasn't enough. And that's what got us to start the second phase in the back. So this is end of the season. Finishing up everything. So here was our cucumber trellis that worked very well. Just holes. And then something out of Josh Satin's mind for our setup here. Once the cucumbers died, we put peas in just to build off of whatever was left. It didn't work as planned, so I'll try something new next year. Uh, these were the indeterminate tomatoes. Worked pretty well. Outgrew their little uh, setup into the cucumbers and eventually took down that setup. That uh, worked pretty well. Florida weaving with the tomatoes over here. Uh, these didn't work as well, but we're kind of shaded with these trees, so it wasn't really the best setup for them. Uh, this was all of our, our green garlic growing already. This worked okay. Peppers were good this year too. About 60 of them, one per square foot in these things. They're still going, still cold. End of October, so happy with what we got. No disease. Um, these were uh, F1 generation, so they were more disease tolerant. Uh, everything worked out well. And I'll show you a greenhouse in the back where we have more, and then more end of the season sort of veggies, beets, radishes, carrots, some romaine, finishing up with some, some more tomatoes on both sides, just being romas, and then just being um, our cherry tomatoes. Still growing, still flowering. Uh, so that's kind of how where we were after this year. We jammed in a lot of stuff. Worked out pretty well for us. Um, but we need we need more more land to grow more. So not much I would do differently. Minus pretty much just have more land to, to plant more. Um, so I'll go back and I'll show you the greenhouse down here. Picking tomatoes for about four months, uh, so still highly productive. Not so much on on these ones, which are in between romas and beef steaks. They weren't they weren't particularly good this year, so we probably won't go with them next year. But the indeterminates, uh, first first time ever trying these, uh, continue to keep producing. Quite good. Just need a better uh, support system to to stabilize their growth. All right, on to the next. One. Still going with a good pepper harvest. We did two F1s. One of them being a ninja, I forgot the name of the other one. And then of those, we did uh, the pruning on half and half. Uh, we had a really hot part of the summer and it really killed off a lot of the leaves on a lot of the pepper plants. I think the peppers are still trying to come back, trying to recover from that. Um, that's why we're getting a ton more right now. Um, but I really didn't see much difference between uh, the pruned versions. So these are the pruned ones. And these are the unpruned ones. This one. Um, and I would say the ninjas, which were on the right, are far more plentiful uh, in terms of production. So we see really no disease on them, which is usually a problem I've had in previous years, but not this year. Just good. Okay, on to the next one. Alright, so just to give you an idea of kind of where we are at and where we're trying to go. So over there was was phase one, that's what we built that up to be. Um, and then realized we wanted to expand on this, but we were limited in space. 
So that's where we took over this. So this is probably at least two times bigger than the, than the first original space. Uh, we also have uh, a greenhouse back there as well as some compost bins. And we're going to build another compost bin, uh, hopefully today. Um, but that will be another video. And then right here is going to be another greenhouse that hopefully we can get to into, into the winter. So we picked everything that we could from here. And we're going to go back into that greenhouse uh, and pick the, pick the peppers. Alright, so this is inside the greenhouse. So this is where extra pepper plants that we couldn't fit in the other one had to go into. And once we take these down, I'll show you kind of what the, what the greenhouse is. Because right now the peppers are taking over, so we're at the end of the season. Looks like I got them all. That's that one. Much bigger in the greenhouse, much firmer skin. I feel like the ones out in the open. Do not get as big. But since peppers are self-pollinators, we don't have to worry about having them out in the open. Because they will do the pollination themselves. Okay, so we'll be all uh, picking from today. Alright, and here we have part of today's harvest. We have our tomatoes our grape and cherry tomatoes some peas these are all the green peppers from the garden itself and these are all the green peppers from the greenhouse so we haven't picked lettuce or anything yet um, but we'll do that soon